must have seen the short that I went ahead and I posted. You can't sleep, can you? Something's bothering you. Something's tormenting you in the middle of the night. Something is heavy on your shoulders right now. I can see it. The Lord asked me to go ahead and put this video on this 4th of July. It's about going almost 1030 to 11. And I had to go ahead and be obedient because someone out there is needing a prayer. Somebody's needing encouragement. Somebody is needing hope. And I am here. I want to be a vessel for our Lord Jesus Christ and help you. The only way that I can help you is by you accepting, receiving, and desiring, wanting the Lord to help you. You're tired. You're tired. You can hear the fireworks outside. They're still going on for this evening. You know what that signifies? That you're being set free tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are being set free in Jesus' name. And we are celebrating. We're already celebrating. Because you know why? There's hope. There is hope. There is only one man that can actually save you and help you. And his name is Jesus Christ. He is the son of the living God. And he loves you. He loves you. He's been watching you. He's been seeing your tears. He sees that even when you're sitting in your car or the bus, when you're in your lone time, just crying your eyes out. The Lord says, no more, daughter, no more, son. I'm drying those tears, is what the Lord is saying to you today. I can feel his presence strongly here. And the Holy Spirit is leading and urging me. But he's saying he needs you to come back to your first love. He needs you to come back to him. No matter what's happened in life, no matter what you've been through, no matter who's hurt you, please understand that God did not allow that to happen. And he did not punish you. He did not come here and put a sickness on you. He did not cause that. The enemy did. The devil did. And the devil came and flooded in. And God says, I'm sorry that you experienced that. I'm sorry. But I'm here for you. I want to help you. Come to me. Come to me. Amen. My name is Lisa. I'm the prophetic counselor. Amen. The Lord uses me within my counseling. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I'm also a minister. When the Lord shows me something in my spirit or tells me to post a video, that's when you see my videos up. Amen. Because I know somebody needs some help or somebody needs a word of encouragement. But I am here to help you. You made a brave move coming and clicking on my video. Thank you for allowing me in. Thank you for allowing me to help you. It is a journey, but it begins it starts with Jesus. It's a journey. It wasn't easy for you to get where you're at today. So trust me, the enemy's going to fight hard to get you back. But you know what? He, the Lord has given you the keys. He's given you the keys to fight the devil back. And all you got to say is Jesus. Because there is power in the name of Jesus. The enemy, the demons, they don't like Jesus. They don't like Jesus. They're afraid of him. So when you're cornered, you feel depression coming on, those voices are coming in your head, you know what? You tell them to leave in the name of Jesus. Open up your Bible and you read Psalm 91. Anoint your home and put that oil around your house. The little simple steps and little things that we do as Christians, amen. Because the enemy doesn't like us. But Jesus is there to save us. He protects us. Amen. So I want to go ahead and just go over a few little scriptures. I'm going to go ahead and say a prayer at the end. Because it's time, sister. It's time, brother, 
for you to have some rest, be able to breathe, for things to go right. Some of you's opened up a door that you shouldn't have. And some of you didn't know what you were doing. You're just following along. You're just experimenting. You were at your darkest, deepest moment, desperate for a miracle that you opened up a door that you shouldn't have opened. And your person knows who I'm talking about. Knows I'm talking to you. Along the way, knowingly and unknowingly, whether it was a parent that brought you or a friend, or if you did it yourself, it's time to close those doors. Because what happens is that the devil has a legal right to come in. Why does he have a legal right? Because you open up a door or somebody around you opened up a door and those demons are flooding in and they are attacking your weakest moments. They are attacking soul wounds, okay? Hurts and pains. They know your weaknesses and that's where they're attacking. But the Lord says now we're going to stop in Jesus' name. Demons are going to flee in the name of Jesus. This is the last day that you're gonna be experiencing that because next time if they try to come, if they try to come, you're going to know what to do. You're going to tell them, no, in Jesus' name. Amen. Devil, flee. In Jesus' name, like the word of God says, resist the devil and he shall flee. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And that those who believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. Because when we're done with this world... Guess where we're going? To the next. What do you think is on the other side? Because my God, my Jesus told me that I'm going with him to those pearly gates in heaven. Amen. There is an assurance. And you can feel it deep down in your spirit that that is the Lord that is speaking to you. You know, we're the only religion that has a relationship with a living God. And he can talk to you. He can talk to you. Not like the voices in your head. But he speaks in your spirit. You know that it is him. Jesus is saying today, as you're coming back, that we have to accept him as our Lord and Savior. When we go into Romans 10 9, it says here. Mm, thank you, Jesus. Ooh, <laughs> Glory. Ooh, Jesus. <laughs> There is somebody out there. Who you're fighting it. Oh, devil, get out of that girl. <laughs> right now. Devil, get out of that girl. Right now, in the name of Jesus. I command you. There is somebody with a long, I see straight blonde hair. And she's seeking. And she's at her at end's wit. She's tired. But right now, in Jesus' name. I command you, devil, to get out of her right now in the name of Jesus. You're not allowed to touch her. You're not allowed in Jesus' name. I command you to loose her right now. I command you to loose her right now in the name of Jesus. I need you to say the name of Jesus. I need you to say. I need you to tell that devil to leave in the name of Jesus. You tell him. You tell that devil that Jesus is your Lord and Savior. You say, devil, Jesus is my Lord and Savior. He is my God. I believe that he died on the cross for my sins. And he was risen on the third day. I believe that he is the son of God. And I ask the Holy Spirit. Ooh, I feel it. I ask the Holy Spirit to come in. To fill me. To fill me in Jesus' name. And I am closing doors. I am closing doors right now. The doors that were open, I am closing them right now. And I am renouncing every single assignment, every contract, even contracts that were done on my behalf by others. Oof. I am annulling them right now. And I am renouncing it right now in Jesus' name. And I am asking Jesus Christ to be my Lord and Savior. Lord, come in and guide me and lead me. For you are my God. You are my God. Whoo, 
Ooh, oh, somebody needed that deliverance. I speak peace over you right now, sister. I speak peace over you right now. I speak peace over you right now. I speak peace over your mind right now. I capture every single thought of the devil right now, and I command it to leave her right now in Jesus' name. Those demons that were sent to destroy you, I command them to go right now in the name of Jesus. I bind them up, and I send them back to the pit of hell in Jesus' name. And you are not allowed to come back. Ooh, somebody has a cutting spirit. Oh, wow. Somebody is cutting themselves. No. Ooh, I command that demon to leave you right now in the name of Jesus. I command that demon right now to leave you in the name of Jesus. Ooh. I'm speaking in my heavenly language because that demon... And I am commanding him to go right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Ooh, there is somebody with short hair. Somebody with short hair. Okay, dark hair. That is looking. I see a dark. I see dark hair. But if you got light hair and this applies to you, glory be to God. But right now, the Lord is, is telling you that he loves you. And he wants me to command that depression to leave. So I command that depression to leave right now in the name of Jesus. Ooh, somebody's been speaking in your ear and telling you that you're not worthy. But you know what the Lord is saying today? I created you. And I don't create a mess. And, uh, and you are worthy. You are special. You are the apple of God's eyes. Understand that the world is not going to understand you. Understand that they won't receive you. Okay, but I receive you. Follow me, the Lord says. Follow me. Get to know me. For I am your father. Amen. I love you. Thank you, Lord. Ooh, hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, open up a Bible. Get to read, get to know him, sit in his presence, go on your knees, say, Lord, forgive me for my sins as I repent. Forgive me for my sins as I repent. Lord, I forgive those that hurt me. That's another one. You can't hold on to bitterness. There's somebody out there that got bitterness. There's somebody out there that's angry. You can't because that's going to hurt you in the long run. Not them. It's going to hurt you. And you need to be set free. So the Lord is saying to forgive them, to let go of that bitterness, let go of that anger, because it's manifesting now. It's coming, it's manifesting. It's, your character is ugly. You're, you're angry all the time. You can't sleep at night. You got insomnia. The enemy is just writing on your, he's just writing on your emotions, but don't allow him because those are open doors. You need to close those doors right now in Jesus' name. We are closing those doors right now in Jesus' name. And tell the Lord, Lord, forgive me for being bitter. Forgive me for being angry. Forgive me, Lord. And I forgive this person for what they did. And I forgive this person. And now I let go and I let God and I give it to you. I give it to you, Lord. Wash me and cleanse me, oh Lord. Set me free in Jesus' name. I pray right now, Lord, that there's a sweet peace over you. A sweet peace to each and every one of you that is watching. A sweet peace over you in the name of Jesus. He is omnipresent. He is right there with you. He is by your side. The Lord is there by your side. Receive him and love on him. And say, Lord, yes. It's okay. Somebody's saying, how can, how can God love somebody like me? He can. Because he loves you. He created you. Amen. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Stop comparing yourself. There's somebody out there that keeps on comparing themselves to the magazines, to social media. Okay? He's comparing themselves to other people. Don't do that. Look within and see how beautiful you are. Look within and see how beautiful you are. And I pray that the Lord will open up your eyes. And we bind up those spirits. 
We bind up that spirit that is speaking to you in the name of Jesus. Sends out to destroy you and keep you down. Low self-esteem. Low self-confidence. Whew. Lord is our deliverer. He's our deliverer. And he loves you. You just got to call on his name. Stop questioning him so much. It's okay to ask questions. But you keep on asking, am I real? Are you real? Are you real? Yes. Ask him to show himself to you. He will. Amen. Amen. So I want to go ahead real quick and just go back on to here. Okay, because it looks like the Holy Spirit really wanted me to go ahead and address that. So I did. And, uh, but I want to, I want to validate it with scripture. How you know that it was the Holy Spirit taking over. He always, always confirms with scripture. Amen. So in Romans 10, 9, it says, confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. You will be saved for with the heart one believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Right? Amen. Amen. So we did. We confess that he is Lord. And we accept it and we receive him. That's the big key there. Now you're bringing in like all God has for you because you're not fighting him anymore. And the devil doesn't live in here anymore. Okay. Now God can come in and kick the devil's butt because now you allowed him to. Jesus saved me. Yes. You are now his sheep. You are one of his children. Okay, John chapter 12, verse 46 says, I have come as a light into the world, that whoever believes in me should not abide in darkness. There is no darkness and light, and that is Jesus Christ. Now you are crossing over from the darkness, coming back to the light, because you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Now, the angels have are throwing a party up there for you, because you are now saved. Amen. Salvation has stepped in the room. Praise God. You're having nightmares when you can't sleep at night. You put on that worship music. You know what? Because now the devil doesn't have a legal right to you anymore. You go ahead and you tell the devil because you have the power and authority in Jesus' name. Go in Jesus' name. I speak peace over my mind in Jesus' name. I command that spirit to leave in the name of Jesus. You are a son and daughter of God, of Jesus Christ. And now you have the power and the authority to command those demons to leave in Jesus' name. Stop a Bible and learn about Jesus Christ and who you are in Christ. As a Christian, I am one that I don't just think that I know the word and I never go back in. Okay, because life happens. Let's just say, okay, well, I forgave that person, but then somebody else does something to me and now... Again, here I am. <laughs> I'm upset. Why, why is this happening again? Okay, because we're human. Okay, and we live in a fallen world. Okay, so what do we do? We live a life of repentance. We live a life of forgiveness. And we go on our knees and be like, Lord, you know what? I forgive that person because I don't want it to affect me and my relationship with God. I'm going to go ahead and be the bigger person and forgive that person and move on forward amen so it's the same thing with the psalm 51 and you may want to highlight this because sometimes some things come into our heart that is really ugly and it will block you from hearing god and it can hinder a blessing as well create in me a clean heart oh god and renew a steadfast spirit within me do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me by your generous spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your way and sinners shall be converted to you. And it goes on. He had one more script. That was, that was pretty much the cleansing part. Amen. And I can see that a lot of you are feeling much better. I can see just like literally a weight off of your shoulders right now but i want you to know the plans that god has for you so i'm going to go to one of our very famous and popular scriptures and that's jeremiah 29 11 to 13 because it says on here for i know the thoughts that i think towards you says the lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope then you will call upon me and go and pray to me and i will listen to you 
praise God. And you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. I will be found by you, says the Lord, and I will bring you back from your captivity. Amen. So the Lord is promising a better life for you. Keep seeking him. Keep seeking him. Amen. So Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for my brothers and sisters in Christ and for those that are watching, Father God, Lord. I thank you, Father God, Lord, and I ask you, Lord, that there will be a sweet peace over them. A sweet peace in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you, Father God, Lord, that their minds are not racing anymore. Whew. Peace. Peace in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father God. Whew. Peace. They're going to sleep in heaven tonight. They're going to sleep with the angels surrounding them, ministering to them. In Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you, Father God. Oof. Fill them. Fill them. Fill them with your love. Fill them with your love, Lord. Fill each and every one of them, Father God. Let there be a just like a like a blanket wrapped around them of your love, liquid love, agape love, unconditional love. Letting them know that it's okay. They're gonna be fine. For those that are in my community and those that have passed by and watched my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, okay? And put on the notification bell so that way you know when I have a word for you. Amen. I thank you so much for really watching the video. And thank you so much for being such a support. I ask you, Lord, that you will be with them. That a breakthrough will come. Expected monies will come to them in Jesus' name. You will pay their rent. They will get a job and they will find an apartment. Amen. Amen. Somebody needs a car. I pray, Father God, Lord, that you will bless them with the car that they need, Lord. Need, in Jesus' name, a good working car, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I just pray right now, Father God, that you will connect them with angels in disguise. That's going to help them along the way. Amen. So, I thank you so much for joining me this evening. May the Lord bless you tremendously. I thank you for your comments. And I just pray this video ministered to you until the next time we talk on the Prophetic Counselor and Together Beyond Bless. Bye.